Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. In today's video, I'm going to share um, some of the fountain pens that I picked up. Um, if you watched one of my previous videos, I did do a small um, Lamy Safari pen haul um, and since then I have kind of gone a little bit crazy and picked up some more as you can see um, and so I thought I would share what I picked up with you today. So first off I just want to show you the packaging so I picked up four more uh, Lamy Safari pens. Um, they're all fountain pens and they do come individually packaged like this. Um, it's just a black cardboard box with a little bit of um, I guess like small windows there. Um, I do like the packaging. I wish that they had something else to kind of cover the pens because um, if they have been in storage for a little bit, um, they can get a little bit dusty, so the dust can go inside. But um, other than that, I do find them to be really aesthetically pleasing. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you what um, colors I picked up from the Lamy Safari line. So in my last haul, you saw that I picked up the 2019 Blue Macaron um, color. This is from the Pastel line. Um, and because I love this one so much, I decided to go hunting for the other two colors. Um, and that is Powder Rose and Mint Glaze. So that's what I have picked up here. So this one is the Blue Macaron. This one is the Mint Glaze, and this is the Powder Rose. So I had to pick these up from Amazon, so I'll put a link for the shop that I picked them up from down below. They came out with a special edition collection last year, um, and this was the three colors. I like them because they're pastels. You know pastels are like my jam. Um, and I also like that they have like a shiny finish. I really prefer that. It just looks really sleek. Um, kind of reminds me of like nail polish colors, um, especially the Essie ones. But I really love these colors. Um, I think they look really good with my Hobonichis. I'll bring them in so you can kind of see them. So this is my A5 um, Hobonichi. Um, and this is in the Bonbon bon Plaid Suite. So you can see like the colors match really well with that one. Um, I also have the Bon Bon Sweet Bitter. This is the A6 size. And I just find like this mint green looks so good in this cover. So I just really had to get these colors just because I find that they match so well with all the different notebooks that I have. Um, but I'll kind of go through the specifications of each pen. So with the Blue Macaron, um, this one I got in the extra fine nib. And I also changed the ink to be the Lamy uh, Violet. And I did do a little bit of a swatch here so you can kind of see how that looks like. It's the extra fine in the Violet. So that's what that looks like. Um, next up is the Powder Rose. I think I wanted this one the most. But in here I got the Fine Nib. And I also put the Violet um, ink in it because I thought that it would match the color of the Powder Rose really well. So these two are both violets, so you can see what that looks like over here. And then in the last one, in the Mint Glaze, I got the medium nib. So it's a little bit thicker. I find that the medium nibs write really, really smoothly. Um, and in this one, I went with the basic blue color. So that's what those three look like here, swatched out. I'm just gonna move this to the side and kind of talk to you about some of the other ones that I picked up. Um, so this is the 2020 line. This is the candy collection. Um, and this one is the mango. And the other one is the aquamarine. Now there is a violet color, but I didn't pick that one up yet. Um, I'm gonna have to go back and see if they have it in stock. 
but so far I'm glad that I have picked up these ones. These are both in the medium nib. So I haven't inked these ones up yet, so I thought I would just kind of show you what it comes with. So it has this little spacer, it's a cardboard piece that you remove when you're going to use it. So you just untwist it and you have the cartridge. All of the Lamy's come with a basic blue one. And once you remove this little piece and you screw it back in place, it will kind of pierce the bottom of this and then the ink will start to go through. I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm not planning on using this one just yet. But this just helps, um, this little thing just helps to uh, keep everything secure when it's in transport. So like I said, I got the medium nib in this one. And the main difference of the pastel collection and this um, candy collection is that um, the hardware is not silver like it typically is. Um, it actually matches the body of the pen. So this one's the mango. And then this one is the aquamarine. And then also the main difference is that um, these pens are a matte finish. So I was really surprised by how vibrant these colors are. Um, they're definitely um, on the bright side compared to the pastels. Um, and I found it really interesting that they chose to go with a matte finish. Um, it's quite fun and playful and I definitely think that it looks great as a fountain pen. So I will show you the aqua marine right now. So again it has the matching clip here. And this one I also got the medium nib and again it will come with a blue cartridge inside. So you can buy bottled ink or the cartridges from Lamy and I've been really enjoying using these in my Hobonichi. Um, I do find that they match really well with my other notebooks. So um, like for example this is a pocket moleskin notebook and it actually matches the mango like perfectly so I was really happy to see that. Um, just for comparison if you want to see it against like a Lichstrom for example so this is the um, powder color from the new Lichstrom line and it matches the powder pink really well so again um, I really like the fact that these pens match my notebooks. I just think it just adds a little bit of something extra. Um, these pens also come in um, a roller ball. So I do have one here that's in the mint glaze color. Um, I showed this in my previous video. But this is the roller ball version. So it doesn't have the window here where you can see the ink. It's just a basic roller ball pen. It comes with black ink and that's what the cartridge looks like. I've been using this pen quite a lot recently and I think I might pick up the other ones um, in the other colors um, soon because I've been really enjoying this one. There is also a ballpoint pen which is like a clicky style. I haven't got any of those to show you but um, it might be nice if you um, are into ballpoint pens. So I've just been keeping my fountain pens in this little pen sleeve here. I just think they look really cute. Or I would put them into, like I said, my Hobonichis. Um, because the straps are a little bit bigger, they fit really nicely inside. And I like that the clip kind of adds like that bit of security there. So it just holds my Hobonichi um, really well. And even though it gets quite chunky, um, everything is still fitting in nicely. So that's all that I want to show you guys today. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!